have I even mapped anything to the wheel on this patch? I don't even know. That, that was supposed to be my little intro for this video. Sometimes I do stuff I don't know how, and today is definitely one of those days. Normally I just do my music and it's more of a studio setting. Today I'm just gonna play with this thing, the Prophet Rev 2. Uh, seeing as that's been some of my most popular videos, a few people who've been interested in my patches, who've been asking to buy them, and uh, if I had any sort of business sense, I'd probably be like, yeah, let me get right on that, and I'd make a patch pack and make it available for them, since they're actually asking to buy it. But I feel like if I'm going to do that, I need to provide a decent amount of content, as I want it to be a fairly comprehensive pack of patches, and maybe I'm overthinking this, but uh, yeah. Instead, I'm going to do another video where I'm talking about making patches on the Rev2. And today we are going to go to, let's see, layer B. This is a basic preset. This is very much one of those synthesizers where you can just go on a journey in sound, everything is really laid out. Um, that's one of the things I really like about this thing. Uh, I'm seeing cat hair everywhere now. Thank you, kitty. So I have the whole light set up, so. Anyway, let's get started. Completely basic patch, sawtooth. Let's make a pad sound or something, probably. are set to snap to, not the uh, turn to catch. Uh, you get this abrupt motion when I turn a knob. It's a pick your poison kind of thing. When I have the catch enabled, that always annoys me as well. Let's do a triangle. That's a nice round sound. Great for a pad. Let's see. Slop I have set to just very low. I don't like it set too high. It's just too much. I have just a tiny bit. And uh, let's just stick with the one oscillator for now. We're probably going to add another. But um, so this is uh, kind of in mono. There's I'm turning up pan spread. You can really hear. If you're on headphones, you can really hear it pan out. The more voices you use, the more it distributes across the stereo field, which is a really nice feature with the Rev2. So let's just go ahead and use that and holding this uh, LFO and turning this knob maps it right away to uh, the destination. So we're going to make it go pretty slow. not so abrupt. Like this has more of a rhythmic effect, which uh, can be cool, but for now I want more of a like a subtle vibrato effect than here. That's this is more in that territory. Let me play a bit more with uh, that later. Here's some nice bottom end there. People say the Rev2 is not good for bass. I mean, uh, that's pretty beefy in the low end. 
It's not as girthy as a monosynth, but this is more geared towards being a polysynth, so it, it's definitely there. You can just EQ it up in uh, post, like if you're recording, it's really easy just adding a little more low end if you want for a bass patch. It can definitely do bass sounds, especially when you start with a unison and stacking voices. So adding a little bit of uh, attack slope, the envelope is extremely snappy. You hear him. So we're adding a bit of attack time to um, make it more patty. That's terminology, by the way. turning off velocity because I don't want key velocity to affect the uh, amplifier slope. I want it to be purely the envelope uh, that I'm setting right now. Hmm. I kind of like where uh, this is. Uh, I mean, we haven't added effects yet. Let's try something else here. So this is set to C2, the main oscillator. Let's add another oscillator. And let's tune that to a fifth. And we get this sound. That's a fun way to get chords with just you know, two fingers. these uh, nice interactions because you always have the fifth there. But maybe I don't want it to always be present, so let's make another modulation here. Let's uh, do oscillator mix and let's do a slow moving oscillator that blends in the uh, There now you can hear the second oscillator and the fifth is moving in and out instead of always being there in the sound. Yes, let's add some effect. The effects on the Rev 2, some of them are pretty good. The reverb is not my favorite, it's serviceable. And there's my cat. Hello, cat. Yeah, I know. You think we should be playing with cat, not synthesizer? Yes, it's horrible. Yeah, he'll be doing that. He doesn't like synthesizers. And there already we have a lot of movement to this basic patch. we have a shape mod. Yeah, let's add some more movement. And uh, again, a slow, slow LFO. We like slow LFOs. That's not really very audible.
Oh, because I wiggled the wrong knob. <laughs> uh, here, there we go. Now we get all that movement from uh, the shape mod. So now you have the fifth fading in and out, but you also get the movement from the wave shape modulating. Still have one more LFO. Let's see, what can we do with this? Noise is always nice, so let's add some noise. And again, instead of it being constant, let's uh, just uh, make it fade in and out to, uh, and yeah, I did it again. So I'm talking and I'm doing things with my hands at the same time. to really get those overtones singing. And um, I always like how the noise getting affected by the filter sounds in a pad sounds like wind. on top of what the LFO is doing. So that's where I like to use the mod wheel. There we go. So now, as I'm moving the mod wheel, I get more of that effect, which is something I like. I do that a lot. And uh, slot two, source. So here's a thing. It doesn't like you to map more than one thing to the mod wheel, but not by doing it this way anyway. It's just funny. Yesterday I did this and I was like, oh, did they fix that in the firmware? But now it doesn't do it. But what we do is we hold source and we just scroll over to mod wheel and then we can still do it. We can keep piling stuff into the mod wheel. Since this is a pad sound, 
So what we'll add now is some VCA release, and we'll map that as well to the mod wheel, so that when I move this up, it will have the notes ring. So here's a funny thing, you have to actually add negative amounts. And there you go. So now that affects both the pan spread and the release. Because the difference between doing that and using the sustain pedal is uh, Now you can play these things and you can just uh, use the wheel to adjust dynamically how long the notes should ring out for. Oh. Yeah, let's not play that note. <laughs> I like that. Because that completely negates the uh, kind of a vibrato effect I uh, mapped earlier. Let's say that should affect the cutoff instead. You know, already I can sit here for a while and just play with this. Always be careful with the resonance on uh, far pole mode with the ref. I disagree with people who say it's not a musical sounding filter. I think it is a quite musical sounding filter. I like the uh, overtones you get with it. It's just got a lot of resonance, so you really have to be careful not to. Crank it too high. Oh, it's fine there, but if I was to turn up the cutoff when I did that, it would be 
ear piercing. So you have to be really careful, especially when mapping modulation, so that you don't accidentally end up uh, getting into that territory. But um, as long as you're mindful of it, I think it's a quite nice sounding filter with its own character. So that's me uh, waffling about the Rev 2 for a bit. Let's save this. Let's call this. Oh, it's bad. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if that stacks okay with. Uh, straight a bit off track here and uh, now I'm layering with a patch that I made yesterday but um, you can see how easy it is playing around with the rev making something and then stacking it with something else and you can end up with uh, some unexpected and often fun results and uh, really big moving pads is one of the things this really does well. And this is barely scratching the surface, this is just using some LFOs. You have the step sequencer, and you have the auxiliary envelope, and you have a lot more modulation in the uh, mod matrix. So you can really go a lot deeper than this. But those are kind of topics. This has been a little video of playing around with this great synth. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something useful. And I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>